Good afternoon. I am Dr. Sneha Sis Chakravarti. I am going to talk about the high pressure processing of food. Uh, high pressure processing is the most common non-thermal technology evolved so far in last two decades. As we are mentioning that this is non-thermal technology, first you know that why should I discourage the thermal processing technology? In case of thermal processing, normally this is believed to be pasteurization or sterilization. We always treat the food at uh, 90 to 100 degrees centigrade for ranging from uh, 10 to 20 minutes for a batch process. We understand that it will ensure the inactivation of spoilage as well as pathogen microorganisms and also the enzymes, spoilage enzymes. But we should not neglect the what is the effect of this temperature treatment on the nutrients itself. So most of the nutrients within that fruit will be degraded and it will be lost. So that's why we have to think it for alternative technology. So one of the most alternative technology is the high pressure processing. What is that? That when one food is subjected to one liquid media that is uh, any type of pressure transmitting media and we are going to seal the whole the vessel and we are going to compress it and the food will experience some pressure. Which type of quantity of this extent of this pressure? 600 mega Pascal, 400 to 600 mega Pascal. The atmospheric pressure is 0.1 mega Pascal. That means we can say that 6000 times more the atmospheric pressure. So this is huge amount of pressure. So in that pressure, microorganisms will experience huge amount of stress within it. So membrane protein will be denatured and it will be inactivated. In case of enzymes, the quaternary and tertiary structure will be experience huge amount of stress and it will lose its conformations and enzymes will be inactivated. But what about the uh, phytochemicals and all the covalent and uh, phenolic compounds within the food? As they are mainly basically covalent based compounds, high pressure will not affect those compounds. So in through this high pressure processing, all the nutrients will be retained within the food as it is. So that's why this is most of most emerging technologies and it has been evolved in last two decades that most commercialized alternative non-thermal processing. So now the thing is that how pressure is going to be generated. Let's imagine this is the vessel, this is closed vessel. If we are going to compress it, that means we, we are uh, pouring all the liquid media within this chamber and we are increasing the mass of that pressure transmitting media. So it will exert the pressure. The what, which type of media is required that is water or aqueous like solution, any organic solvents. The why, why this type of organic solvents or water is preferred because the compressibility factor for this liquid is very, very less. In case of water, this is only 46 parts per million. That means if we increase 1 million times of your atmospheric pressure, 46 percentage of your water volume is going to be compressed. That means very, very, very less amount of compressibility is there in case of water. So that's why this type of media is preferred. In case of high pressure processing, the processing can be, pressure can be generated through direct or indirect pressurization through the transmitting the another media or direct compressor, compression of the liquid media. The other advantage of this high pressure processing is that operating cost. If in case of thermal processing, if our target is that you have to maintain the 90 degree centigrade for 5 minutes. So once the temperature is reached at 90 degree centigrade, the temperature has to be maintained by any other means. But in case of high pressure processing, once you reach the target pressure of 600 mega Pascal, which is so far industrially upper limit of the processing. If we reach the 600 mega Pascal, once it reached the, that point, the system can be remain constant and we, any type of operating cost will not be required. So this is cheaper with respect to that, but we agree that initial cost of that is high. So summing it up, that high pressure processing is the most common alternative method and as well as non-thermal method because the temperature rise for per 100 mega Pascal is 3 degree centigrade only. So if we use 600 mega Pascal, so temperature rise only, only 18 degree centigrade. So it has the capability or potential to inactivate the microorganisms as well as enzymes, but simultaneously it will retain the most of the nutrients within the food. So this, that's why this has been emerged in last two decades, most commercially viable non-thermal technology in food. Thank you.